Chris Ashbach of Arden Hills says he enjoyed his lunch at the free house in North Loop, but didn't enjoy the extra 3% tacked onto his tab. Bill comes and he's surprised to see uh, after he pays that there's actually a employee wellness fee that's been added and it's located right above the total amount due, so it does appear as a mandatory charge on the bill. Ashbox suing the owner of the free house, the Blue Plate Restaurant Company, which has several other full-service dining spots around the city, including the Lowry in Uptown and the Adina Grill. He wants all of the fees refunded. I think this is something that he truly and fundamentally believes is an unethical business practice, and he wants to expose it in, in what we're seeing as uh, in the marketplace, perhaps a greater trend for, to restaurants doing this. And, and that needs to stop. Blue Plate responded, we are proud of the benefits we provide our valued employees and their families. Information about the employee wellness surcharge is printed on the menus in our restaurants. Now on this takeout menu for the Adina Grill, it's at the very bottom in fairly fine print. I think it should be more up front if they're gonna do it. They should have it not in the teeny tiniest print. This Adina Grill customer said she preferred to see slightly higher prices versus a surcharge. It would probably be better if they um, just raised the price a few cents or whatever on their on their menus. Now, the man who brought this lawsuit says he's very sympathetic to the financial pressures that restaurants are under, especially in cities that are going to a $15 an hour minimum wage. But he said the way the wellness surcharge appeared on his bill made it seem like it was some type of a government mandate or a tax, which it's not. So we'll see how this all shakes out. Uh, the company, uh, uh, Blue Plate's going to fight this in court, mm -hmm. um, and we'll see uh, what they come up with. But he's not asking for some big windfall for himself personally, just 3% no. refunded to... It'd be a class action and everybody in the class would be anyone who's ever paid that and they'd get back that 3% if they can track all that. All right. Thank you, John. Sure.